So you have a Westinghouse Smart TV with the uh, Roku TV. I'm going to show you how to screen mirror a Samsung Galaxy S6, S7, S8, S9, even the S10. Very, very simple. First thing to note, it's a direct connection. It's a Wi-Fi direct, directly to your Westinghouse TV. It has The connection has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. Okay, so it's a Miracast direct connection. So first thing is obviously turn on your TV. Next thing, go ahead and grab one of your Samsung Galaxy phones. This one here, just for uh, FYI, this is a Samsung Galaxy S8, but it'll work from the S6 all the way up to the uh, S10. First thing you want to do is go ahead and swipe down. And then you see that little horizontal line right there. You want to swipe down again. And now what we want to do is look for Smart View. That's uh, Samsung screen mirroring they call smart view smart view is not on here so we want to swipe over to the right and we see smart view right here now it's the first time i'm going to be connecting this phone to this tv so let's go ahead and pop this on and let's see if it finds it oh wow i found it right away my westinghouse right there okay and then see what's happening to the tv here looks like it's trying to connect we should get a message so we do get a message down here first time you connect uh galaxy s8 would like to cast video to your TV. I'm going to go ahead and grab my remote here and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK to allow. What you can do actually just go to always allow. This way every time you connect the S8 you don't get this message that pops up. It'll just go ahead and mirror it directly. Anyways I'll go ahead and click on allow and then give us a second and we'll see how long it takes to go ahead and connect. Now take note that I said that the um, connection has nothing to do with the internet. However if you wanted to go ahead and mirror something that requires internet, like if you wanted to do a Skype call and show it on the big screen, or you wanted to um, go through your emails on the big screen, obviously you need internet. So the internet will, be, will come from your phone, your home Wi-Fi network that's connected on here, or your mobile data, okay? Actually, we just got disconnected here. I don't know what happened. Let's go ahead and do this again. Let me swipe down, move over, tap on Smart View, and let's try to find it again. Uh, no device. Okay, there we go. Maybe because I took too long to click on Allow. Let me go click on Allow right there and see what happens here okay there we go so now we are screen mirroring as you can see here and let's do this uh, let's go ahead and let me focus in here off of course you can surf the internet turn that around we can go ahead and you can zoom in and out uh, let me go ahead and cl I'll click on a link We'll click on that and you can see again i mean right now i'm connected to my uh home wi-fi network however if uh, if i disconnect from that it would use my mobile data for the internet okay uh let's see here uh, most of you guys are probably on here because you want to show videos and photos on your uh your phone to the big screen to show your family and friends maybe you just got back from vacation or whatnot so we'll go in the gallery here and we'll see some Photos and videos here. You see a video here. There's a photo here. And of course you can zoom in and out. Do this one. And here's a video right here. Let me go ahead and press on play. Virtual reality headset. VR headset. Take a look at this. Awesome. And I got one game so far. Now the volume is actually coming out from the TV. It doesn't come out from the phone. Another thing is too, I can control the volume from my phone as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. If I wanted to disconnect, there's a couple of ways I can disconnect. Now you may have this little swirly thing here. You can simply just tap on that, and then we can go ahead and we can go down here where it says disconnect, or we can just you can just swipe down right here, and you can go ahead and click the X here, or you can swipe down and go back to where it says Smart View, but now it doesn't say Smart View no more. It says the, uh, the name of your TV. Uh, mine's really small right here, but I can click on that, and I can also automatically disconnect like that as well. So pretty simple. If you guys have any questions or any issues, uh, just comment below. All right, good luck.